High voltage transmission lines are used to transmit electrical energy far distances, losing a small amount of power. They have generally three main conductors, which are the electrical phases R, S and T, working with a three-phase system. Transmission lines are huge capacitors, due to the voltage between phases and their electric charge. Most transmission lines have bundled conductors. There is no voltage between them, they act as one single conductor. But with this configuration we make sure the electric field isn't that intensive. If we only had one or two conductors, the electric field would be much more concentrated in the middle and the air could be ionized, conducting electricity and losing tons of power. That's called corona effect. The voltage between phases is around 1.7 times the voltage between a phase and the ground. For a 500 kilovolt transmission line, the voltage between a phase and the ground is 288 kilovolts. Of course, this is the voltage between the conductors and the tower, as the tower is considered ground too, so the insulators must withstand this voltage. The fact that there is an extremely high voltage between conductors and the tower the distance between them must be considerably large. Besides, a dielectric material must keep them apart. There are two types of currents, the volumetric current and the superficial current. The red line shows the superficial current path. Resistance depends on the distance. We must maintain the distance as high as possible in order to make the insulation better but we need much more distance in order to avoid superficial currents than volumetric currents. With this design, superficial currents won't flow practically as the distance they need to cover to flow from one metal to the other is very high. Volumetric currents don't need much distance for avoiding them to flow, so this distance is enough. These orange balls are just used to make sure airplanes and helicopters see the cables. Lightning could easily hit a transmission line, causing a huge mess. This is why guard wires are used on top of the faces. Lightning would hit these wires, which are connected to the ground, and then the energy would be dissipated into heat in the soil. In some cases, these conductors are used for telecommunications too. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.